This past week, I've seen a phrase appear more often in the press than I can remember in my recent past. The phrase is, wanted it more, usually associated with some spectacular result overcoming a ridiculously unlikely outcome. For example, there was a must-win game in the Six Nations Rugby Tournament between Ireland and Wales just two weekends ago. The winning Irish captain, a Peter O'Mahony, was quoted as saying, a lot has to go down to the fight and the want that we showed. At the end of the day, we wanted it more than they did. That was evident by the end of it. In that end, by the way, Ireland prevailed 26-3. to and what better example of an underdog prevailing than the Seattle Seahawks embarrassing the Denver Broncos in this year's Super Bowl? Broncos cornerback Dominic Rogers Cromarty said in a recent Denver Post interview, we've got to give credit to Seattle. You could tell they just wanted it way more than us. No kidding. And how about Bodie Miller last weekend in the Super G downhill at the Sochi Olympics? Try this on for size. In 2012, he underwent reconstructive knee surgery to repair injury he'd amassed during his lifetime of tumbling down ski hills. Last January, Miller's wife lost their baby, which would have been due in August. In April, Miller's brother, Chili, was found dead of an apparent seizure, and last November, Miller lost a custody battle for his nine-month-old son by a former girlfriend. I would add to that that he's the oldest competing skier at the Olympics in Sochi. Yet somehow, he set all those statistically dizzying occurrences aside and won the bronze medal, becoming the most medal-decorated skier in all of Olympic history. Well, how could he put all that stuff aside and still be that good? I don't know, but I'll bet he wanted it more than letting that stuff stand in his way. We've seen high school teams prevail where they were not supposed to be able to do so. We've seen wrestlers greatly overmatched win. Uneducated guys become millionaires. Handicapped individuals compete. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. It's reality. It does happen. And the element I see mostly responsible is wanting something, really wanting it. So is wanting focus? I suppose so. Is it attitude? Well, definitely a component. How about energy? I can't imagine wanting something without putting energy behind it. Mostly I think wanting is magic. It's what lets teams accomplish what the pundits say is impossible. It's overcoming all odds. It's playing through the pain. It's getting back up not most of the time, but all the time. So how can I get some of that want? Well, what do I want? No, what do I really want and how badly do I want it? One more time for emphasis. What do I really want and how badly do I want it? It's magic. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.